All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Again, coming to you from the beautiful German forest. Today, we have my beautiful cameraman's girlfriend behind the lens. Thank you very much. And we want to talk about a very broad subject. Today, I want to talk about dietary dogmas, about diet as religion, about jumping from camp to camp going from one extreme to the other where is that path leading us really so if you've been following my channel yes i was raw vegan back in the day i experimented with it i tried juice fasting i tried fruitarianism i was a whole food plant-based dr gregor disciple for one and a half years straight chucked down the daily dozen daily that's what I was supposed to do. We have an airplane in the background. I hope it doesn't mess up the audio. Anyways, point of the story is I, as well as so many others, ended up on the carnivore. Diet. So people say, Bobby, you jump from one camp to the other. That doesn't make any sense. From one extreme to the other. And what will be the future? Pretty soon, you're going to fail on the carnivore diet and then you're gonna look for the next extreme. What is the end game here? Guys, the dietary world, especially on YouTube, is a fascinating one. It's absolutely fascinating to see how people make diet their identity. Look, before veganism, I used food as fuel. That was the main purpose of it. I used to bodybuild, I used to do jiu-jitsu, I used to box, and I used food as fuel. It should make you perform well. It should make you feel good. That was the main purpose. Then when I became vegan, I thought, hey, this is amazing. Now I can combine the ethics with performance. Amazing, right? Kill two birds with one stone, I thought. But if you've been following the channel, you know, after a while, veganism absolutely failed me. Veganism absolutely wrecked me, destroyed my health. So, I couldn't combine those two pursuits. I couldn't combine the ethics with sport. Now, getting back into animal foods, I'm back to my old self, to my past self. I can perform again. I feel strong in the gym. I feel myself regenerating, recovering. Amazing stuff. Every time I ingest carbohydrates, however, I do feel somewhat often upset unrest in my gut, sometimes diarrhea. This is what is happening. On the carnivore diet, I feel good. Is it ideal? No, it isn't. I'm going to speak out against it, if you will. Actually, I have to say, this is slightly motivated by my good friend Casey from Vegetable Police. Thank you very much. Because Casey talked about people that are lying on their diets. And I agree, man. It is easy to get caught up in that scheme. Many people find their identification with type of diet and then they feel obligated to represent it. They have to talk about it. This is me, Johnny Vegan, Joey Carnivore. It is human nature. It is totally normal. Let's twist around. It goes too much uphill here. Okay. Uh, like so. Keep on filming. It's cool. Yeah, but you have a hole here. There's That's there. all right. Yeah. I don't care. My, oh, girlfriend, my girlfriend is sad about me having a hole in my shirt. That's totally right. Let's keep it rolling here. Freestyle, so I don't have to cut. Mm. Anyways, it is true. You feel obligated to represent your camp. You have to defend your camp, right? No matter what it takes, veganism is the way to go. No matter what it takes, carnivore is the way to go. It's all a lie and very deceptive, of course. I will speak out about how I feel nowadays because I, myself, felt very obligated to represent veganism back in the day, even though it failed me tremendously. I didn't feel ready back in those days to bash veganism because I thought the mistake is in me. It is my fault. I have to fix the issues before I can start talking against something. Anyways, today I don't want to talk against the carnivore diet. I'm just letting you know. For me personally, eating a low-carb, zero-carb diet is not ideal for building muscle. If you want to bulk up, hey, carbs are needed. That is old school bodybuilding knowledge. 
Some people will talk about Vince Goronda, the steak and eggs diet. Yeah, true, but even that guy was carb loading every three days. So therefore, that is a downside of the carnivore diet for me. I do need carbohydrates to pursue my bodybuilding goals. And therefore, in terms of digestion, I do feel the best on zero carbs. Up until now, I really have to say it. It is true. In terms of athletic, aesthetic pursuits, however, not so much. Therefore, for everybody that is screaming and shouting, Bobby is identifying with carnivory. Nope, couldn't care less. I don't want to be on any team, guys. I couldn't care less, man. I'm my own man. I talked to Timothy Sheaf, and he said something interesting. Because I told him, man, I always identify as the lone wolf. And Tim said something cool, man. He said, yeah, bro, me too. But a wolf is great alone, the lone wolf, but it's amazing in packs as well, right? It's a pack animal. So I thought that is a really cool saying. Either way, I was always going my own route. And I don't see a point in further investing in teams. I do love the carnivores, but I do love the vegans that kept that open mind to investigate and diet in the first place. I just like the dietary world. It's a passion of mine. Nevertheless, to become identified with it would mean to join another religion. Therefore, I'm not doing that. I want to further expand upon certain people that I've been following, and I saw them doing the same thing as me, basically switching camps from veganism to carnivory. And that is all fine and dandy. But next thing you know, you see them at anti-vegan protests. And guys, I just want to say, I've been asked by you if I want to join an anti-vegan event. Not at all. I have zero interest in it. Again, as I said, no label, no team, going my own way, going my own path. Why not? You're just becoming another extremist. You go to a vegan event, which you consider being an extremist terrorist group, and you are fighting fire with fire. Now what you're going to do, you're going to eat raw flesh in front of them, right? And provoke the vegans. That doesn't help anybody. You're not going to turn anybody of those vegans into carnivores. And on the grand scale of things, you're not changing anything either. It's pretty sad to see. Honestly, in the end, you become just yet again another PETA activist. In reverse. That is what I'm seeing with those extreme practices. Again, it is human nature. Everybody has another coping mechanism. Everybody deals different with breakups of diets. As you already know, I like to call veganism my abusive ex-girlfriend, Vegana. And that is in the past now. Everybody deals different with breakups. Anyways, that is a very, very broad talk here. As I said before, this time we went into all kinds of topics. You told me in the comments that you enjoy those walk-in talks those random rants where I talk about many topics in one video and don't focus only on one. This video, if anything, to conclude it and to bring it back home, is about non-identification. It is about not labeling yourself. It is about understanding what Bobby's perspective truly is. If there are any questions left. No, it's not a carnivore channel. No. It's not a ex-vegan versus vegan, vegan versus carnivore, raw carnivore drama channel either. It is Bobby's perspective. It is about not labeling. It is about further evolving in this life. And that means everybody for their own. Everybody has their own path. All I can do is share my experience. You might like it. You might love it. You might hate it with all your passion. And that is all right as well. This is why this channel was called Bobby's Perspective from the start. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna cut it off here. We are headed back home now. It is time to eat. And then it is time to see some family members. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.